If you're planning to use AI images, you definitely want to make sure that they're commercially safe. For this, I want to show you Vista Create that can generate AI images that are commercially safe. They won't be used on any general library and they'll be licensed to you only. So let's go check it out right now. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and on this video, I want to show you the AI image generator from Vista Create. Now you're going to find this tool in the designer, go into AI tool, and this is where you're going to find the AI image generator. Now, before I show you how it works and how you can implement it on an actual design, let me tell you a few things about the Vista Create AI image generator. First of all, it's going to be commercially safe to be used on your images to sell, use, print, etc with these images that you're going to generate. Now, this feature is going to be provided by Bria AI, which is going to take care of generating unique images and licensing, licensing them to you. Now, things that you need to know, they are legally safe commercial use, exclusively licensed, and note this is not going to be added to their general library. That means that they're going to be only generated for you. Okay, so let's go into the image designer. Now, in this case, I want to start off with a brand new design, and I'm going to start with a YouTube thumbnail. So in this case, let me show you how easy it is to start using the AI images generator. So let me go ahead and, for example, bring in a template. I'm going to bring in this template that I do like a lot. And we already have some characters inside of here and I want some models and I want to change them with some AI generated models that are commercially safe. Well, let's go ahead and remove them. Here we go. And let's go into the AI tools. Let's go to image generator. And in this case, we need to write a prompt that we want to use. Now you have two options. You can go ahead and write the prompt from scratch, or you can go ahead and use a prompt that is pre-built by Vista Create. So if you like something that is pre-generated right here, you can use the prompt and then generate again. In this case, I want to generate a brand new one. So let's get started with this. Okay, so I just wrote this. I need two ultra realistic models that have sunglasses. Now this is a basic prompt and we're going to tweak it once we get the results. So we have options to use square, four by three, three by four or white, which is 16 by nine. And in this case, I'll leave it square because I want to use it for this purpose. If I wanted to generate a background, I'll use wide. Now, we also have the option for the type of image. In this case, it's automatically generated since we are asking it to do it ultra realistic. It knows we want a photography style. But if now we can go ahead and predestinate this as art or photography, uh, art would be more tunish, more uh, artish, like less realistic. And if you want more realistic, you use photography. In this case, I'll keep it auto. And then we are going to go ahead and uh, generate it. So let's give it a few seconds and it should generate two models for us. And let's see how good it actually gets it. If not, we'll go ahead and tweak it right now. Okay, here we go. We are getting the results and it didn't add two models to this. So we need to be more specific. I need an ultra realistic image of two models that have sunglasses with a green background. Why green background? Because we want to remove it with the basic create tool for removing background. So let's go ahead and do it again. Okay, here we go. We just got the results. Okay, we're getting it. We got two models right here. Now they're looking too serious. This is not the vibe we want to use because we're talking about the best movies of 2025 in this case. So we want to be uh, joyful about this. We want to actually captivate the viewers when they view this thumbnail. So we want to make them smile. So that's the next prompt that we're going to tweak. All right, so we've got the results right here. They are now smiling. We are getting a much better vibe. So this one can work out and so does this one, but something is off. Maybe we want a male and a female. And we also don't want maybe dark shades for the glasses. Maybe we want to have a 3D glasses because we're talking about movies. And if you're from the 80s, like I am, you know what 3D glasses look like. So uh, let's go ahead and ask for that. The image of two models that are male, and female and half in this case we are going to choose 3d movie glasses and smiling okay let's go ahead and generate and see what we're going to get now you can see how we're getting the results and we're tweaking it as much as we need it and we're going to get better results each time that we tweak the prompt and we can go ahead and make changes and get these results really quickly so here we go we got the next batch okay much better and we're going to use this one yeah that one looks good. Remember, this was generated with AI. It's commercially safe to use and you get the rights to use this. All right. So let's go ahead and now remove the background so we can go ahead and jump into the AI tools. We can come back over here and select background remover or select the image. And on the top, we get the tools available right here. I'm going to use the remove background and it should start the process really quickly. Okay, here we go. We got the results. Let's make them way bigger. 
Okay, and we are gonna place them. Let's remove this cutout so it doesn't think we want it inside of there. So let me go to select it, move it to the left a bit. Okay, here we go. Let's put them right about there. Okay, and let's bring in our cutout back inside of here. Okay, looking good, looking good. So remember, we are now using the template that we just got and we generated is these models with AI generation. So it's pretty cool, right? Now we can do way more with this. We can generate icons with the AI image generator. We can also get, generate backgrounds and let's go ahead and do that. So let's go into the background. Let's go to remove the prompt that we've just used. And I need a movie's background. For example, in this case, I'm going to use this prompt. I need a background I can use for a movie's film. Now, in this case, I don't want square. I want to use white because the thumbnail is actually the white angle. So let's go ahead and use this. And we're going to use art because I want it to be artsy. I don't want it to look realistic. And let's go ahead and generate. So several tools available for us to tweak our AI images. So once we get these results, we're going to fine tune them in case we don't get the result we want. OK, results are in and no, I'm not liking the vibe for this. Um, I'm going to leave the prompt as it is. I'm going to choose photography now just to see what we're going to get. If not, we'll go ahead and change the prompt. Okay, here we go. So it's not getting the vibe, but the prompt is not adequate. So let me go ahead and use auto for this and I'm going to be more specific. So let me change the prompt. Okay, so this is my new prompt. Let's see if that works out. Let's go ahead and generate it and see if it gives us that movies vibe. Okay, here we go. Okay, this could work out. So for example, let me see this one right here. All right, so it looks, looks like some old TVs. It could work out. I mean, I could bring that to the background and use it, but maybe that's not what we want. So again, we go ahead and tweak this. Let me go ahead and change the prompt. Okay, so I've added this and an old movie projector. Let's see if it generates what we want. Now, each time that we add to the prompt, it's understanding more what we need. And that's the idea of generating AI images that we actually need. And these are just tests. I would highly recommend that you work out a good prompt for the beginning. So um, this one, see that one? Okay, I like that. And I'm actually, no, that doesn't look like a projector, but this one does look like a projector. So I can bring this to the background and let's go ahead and stretch it. Here we go. So let's bring it to the back. Let's go into the layers and bring it back, back, more back and again. And here we go. So now we have this. Now what I would do obviously is change these colors because black won't go with this idea right there. So, I mean, I would go, for example, with a yellow, maybe remembering what Blockbuster used to look like. And those are just ideas. Let me go ahead and remove that for now. Now, what about icons? Yes, you can generate them with the AI generator. So let's go back into the image generator and let's do some icons. Here we go. In this case, I'm going to use this prompt. I need an icon of an old style movie film. So let's go ahead and use this, see what it's going to generate for us. And we're going to get tweaking with what we get, or maybe we get the results that we want in the first try. Now we've generated AI models, we've generated AI backgrounds, and now we're going to generate icons. So generating AI images is super flexible. Now, maybe these could work out, maybe not. We can go ahead and tweak this and let's go ahead and do so. Okay, here we go. We just got the results and it's kind of good. I mean, we're, we're getting there. We can go ahead and tweak this even more to get the results that we want. We can generate icons, for example, for the icon, for the statue of the Oscars, some popcorn, some movie films, some sunglasses, some 3D glasses, etc., and generate unique icons to be used in this image. Now, the idea is to take full advantage of the AI image generator so you can really have fine tuned images that you can start using right now. And the beauty about this, as I mentioned in the beginning, is that they are going to be legally safe for commercial use which is a big deal. And you're using a reputable company like Vista Create to create them. So I thank you all for watching. Please let me know here in the comments what you think about the AI image generator from Vista Create and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that is a wrap.